Welcome back. You're catching us in the middle of our conversation with Wendy Cole here on Industry RSVP In-Depth. So in that initial meeting, when you first sit down with a child mm -hmm. or a teenager and their parents, do you direct all your questions to the child and the parent? I mean, tell me about this. The meeting? Yes. The initial meeting when they come over? Yes. First of all, I work out of my home and I have a beautiful chalet up in the mountains that Ooh. hopefully because of the rains is still there. <laughs> It's very impressive on a sunny day. <laughs> the rainy day, they go, whoa. Um, it's very secluded. I have a studio underneath my house that I built Ooh. for um, teaching, coaching, and when I was doing my workshop classes. So it's very impressive that way. Um, when, I, when I sit with them, I talk to both of them. And the kids always walk away liking me because I know how to talk to kids. Mm -hmm. I'm not like, so, how old are you? Oh, what, you know, what's your middle name? What kind of pets do you have? <laughs> I talk to them like people, right. you know, because I have my own daughter that I've been raising and I know how to talk to kids. So I direct a lot of questions to them and the parents try to cut in, you know, I'm uh -huh. talking to the kid, okay? Uh -huh. And then I explain the business to them if they don't know it, you okay. know, what's expected. And then I say, okay, mom or dad, um, you're going to stay in this room right here. The door's going to be open. You know, they don't know. i got to make sure everything's cool. Absolutely. But I'm going to take your child now and I'm going to give them copy to read, some scripts and see what they know. If I haven't already seen them in a showcase or something, and okay. I want to know what, what they're capable of doing. Sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. And I'm, I have a pretty good eye, and that's why I'm pretty well respected right here now, because I know talent. I've been part of talent, I've been on the other side. I know, you know, I kind of know if there's potential mm -hmm. or if forget it. So let's say you find somebody they have the potential, you want to take them on. What's mm -hmm. their homework? What, what do you lay out for them? Depends who it is. Okay. I just found these cute little twins through my daughter's pediatrician, okay, recommended these five-year-old twins to me. They're gorgeous. They're like the next Olsen twins, okay? Nice. Their mom is Romanian, so she speaks English, but it's a little broken sometimes. The kids are adorable. I have an agent that's interested in signing them, but they can't remember their lines, mm. okay? So right now I get them into modeling and print, you know, just to begin comfortable on the set because they're cute. They could, you know, they talk. They're they'll hug you, but they can't remember their lines. Mm -hmm. So I told the mom, okay, you know what you need to do? Read to them every night, and when you read a few lines, have them say it back to you. Simple, just something. I just came up with that. It's just something simple so they could start memorizing. I don't want to put them in a classroom and teach them because they're five-year-olds. But just say, you know, once upon a time, there was a girl named Melissa who was very pretty and she wore this beautiful maroon shirt. Okay, now say it back to me. And the kids are going to have to say, once upon a time, there was this real pretty girl named Melissa and she wore oh. this maroon shirt. They have to say it. So that's things like that. You know, it depends who it is and what they need. Is that a good answer? It's an excellent answer. Okay. And I can see exactly why you have such an affinity with children. You know how to talk to them. You know how to get them to understand what they need to do but still stay childlike. Well, yeah, because right? I'm, 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 I'm a kid myself. <laughs> <That's the best. laughs> right. Do you think it's ever possible for children to be overtrained? Okay, not over potty trained. <laughs> 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 overtrained you're talking about in acting. Mm. Yes, that's a very good question. Um, yeah, especially casting directors can tell when you're overtrained. Okay. Because they, you know, the kids come in in a certain way, and they sit down a certain way, and and they hate that. And I get, I would get feedback on that. I've heard about that just hanging out with some casting director friends of mine. Um, I, I, I've judged some talent competitions here in town where I can definitely tell the kids are overtrained, and you know, they, they hold the scripts up like way out here, okay. and then they're going like that, and they're they're standing a certain way. Yeah, the kids should be kids, but they have to also come through, you know, mm -hmm. and have something going on, especially as you get a little older. You have to really know what you're doing. You have to look up. <laughs> you know, that's the main thing. Look up. Make eye contact. Be you. You know, and the thing that I always tell kids, this has nothing to do with your questions, but I'm thinking about this now. When they're going on their auditions, don't get involved with the other kids' stuff. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want them to think of them as their competition. But they're definitely not, they're going to distract you. And stay there and you have to focus. It's a job. Auditions are a job. And when you're on the job, stay focused. Don't get involved in everyone's little crummy business, you know. Oh, I went on this audition the other day. I'm going to get a call back. Who cares? You focus on your stuff. Concentrate on your work. Don't get involved. Now, if you, have to, if you happen to overhear about an audition that you haven't gotten and it's your age group, 
call me. <laughs> <laughs> call me immediately. Get on that cell phone and call me. You know, but don't get involved in everyone's business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds like very good advice. You know, mm -hmm. set the foundation, take the time, be aware, but focus. Focus. Ah, oh, lovely. Thank you for watching Industry RSVP in depth on the Virtual Channel Network. Be sure to join us next week when we continue our conversation with our guest, Wendy Cole.